October 30th is uh, a beautiful day today. Uh, this is the fence line that uh, me and Joyce could put up the other day. We uh, pounded the fence post. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting the insulators on the fence post here. So that's what I'm going to be working on this morning. Today is, uh, well it's afternoon already. Today's actually been a very, very nice uh, Sunday and uh, I thought, you know what, I'm going to take advantage of the weather. And one thing I want to show you, this is high tensile wire, really good wire. But this is something that I don't like, this kink. Because if I start stretching this wire out, it actually could break here. That's a, what I'm afraid that just might happen. I guess when I was pulling the wire, it had a loop on it. We started tightening it and uh, yeah. So if I bend this back, it will break this wire here. And, you know, if we have any kind of force on it, I'm going to stretch it out. I'm expecting it to break. If it breaks, it breaks. Better to break now than uh, when it's minus 20 outside me trying to fix it. Four more fence posts to put the insulators on. And we're going to just finish that off and then I'm going to stretch the wire out and put it up where it belongs. So anyways, I just I got the end of the wire here. It looks like it's going pretty good. This is one of the spots where it was kinked. What I just did is I actually cut this part off because it's got a hook and this thing could really hook onto your skin. And uh, it's been a number of times that I've got uh, a nice scratch. So we're just gonna continue. I got some wire that is around here someplace. So we're just gonna keep on putting it and string this wire and this will be done. I'm actually breaking out of sweat today. It's warm. In fact, today is an anniversary when my father passed away in 1997. So that is uh, 25 years ago. So I'm gonna go and, uh, I know, I know, it's okay, it's okay, I'm okay. I'm okay there, I'm okay. So anyways, well, I'm gonna go uh, this afternoon and set up a candle there and uh, just, uh, I always set one up every year there for him and and so that uh, it's something that we uh, can remember him. Well, let's go. Tighten up this wire now. Okay, well that's set up. Now if the cows, if I do decide I want to put the cows in here and graze this, they can actually graze this down. And now they can leave those bales away. So I think slowly I'll start, uh, once we get some nastier weather I can be in the tractor and we can start uh, placing some of these bales out. And we can start taking some of the twines off as well. In fact, I'd like to take all the twines off all the bales. And then uh, what we can do is I can displace them earlier, well next, throughout the winter, maybe I can just put a month's worth out because what happens when I put all these bales out then there's always a lot of snow drifts around there. And what happens with the snow drifts then, the cows like laying in some of them uh, spots where it's, uh, I guess there's some hay and sometimes we get rollovers. Not so much on the uh, mature cows, but on the younger cows. Well, Guess they don't know what to do. They do it once, and that's the last time they do it. I'm not sure why it's through that experience. Hey, buddy. You better find a warm spot because it's going to start cooling off here soon.
it I was leaned over so then to hinge this this thing actually was I couldn't do that I actually had to lift it up so I think what I'm gonna do brought some gravel here I've got a nice good open space there so what I'm gonna do is gonna fill that up right now Yeah, that should do it. So much easier in a body when you, the, uh, the gates swing, you don't have to lift them up. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a project today. I got some repairing to do this morning. These are rotten. So I need to fix these up. So what I want to do is I want to put some new railway ties in, just in those two. I'm hoping I don't need to take too much time. I can just pull these out. So I got to knock the planks off here. I'm gonna put a chain around, try to knock them off and try to put new posts into here. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. So let's get at it. Get out of there. Leave the cows alone. Well, I don't have to pull that one out. That was rotten. Crap. The railway ties just last so long too, hey? Well, it's just barely hey, holding. So what I'd like to do is pull this one right out completely and stick another one in there. The thing now, what I have to do is I gotta actually dig around in there. Dig that one down. Let's see if we can... Uh, I'm going to dig around here first. It's loose. I think I can get underneath it. Let's see what happens. posts out now we're just gonna go and take these uh, clean it up put I mean put new railway ties in here a little bit harder than what I expected pull them out oh well getting it done done and the job will be complete and then we can move on and I don't have to worry about winter time so I gotta close the cattle off in here then we can uh, just worry about them breaking the fence open. Oh, that would work. Maybe we just put some water in there and let it freeze. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Okay. Okay, we can put the boards back up now. Took a little longer than I expected. Okay, so there was only those two that I wanted to replace. So let's clean everything up and these Railway ties are going into the fire. So anyways, let's clean all this up here.